Hey everybody, Graham here. So there's some weird stuff going on in the ex-Scientologist world. So there's a woman named Miriam who was a Scientologist and while she was in Scientology as a young person, she experienced some pretty severe abuse, according to her. Um, and, and there's no reason to doubt this as far as I know. At the time she was in, the head of Scientology's Office of Special Affairs, which is their security office, basically the, the office that harasses people when they're enemies of Scientology. The head of that department was Mike Rinder, who uh, is now the head of the Aftermath Foundation, uh, who of course was um, co-host of, of the Leah Remini Scientology and the Aftermath show and all of that. So... Miriam's contention is that Scientology knew about and covered up her abuse, which is fairly likely. Um, and because Mike Rinder was the head of OSA at the time, that Mike Rinder would have known about and covered up her abuse. And she wants to ask Mike some questions about this. Um, so uh, she has been in touch with... Um, with Alex the Rabbit from um, Down the Rabbit Hole News, which is a great channel if you haven't seen it. I recommend it highly. Not just Scientology stuff. She talks about a lot of stuff, um, but she's very good. Um, so anyway, Miriam was in touch with Rabbit. Uh, she sent the questions that she wanted to ask to Rabbit. Rabbit put them in an email and sent them off to Mike. She gets a response not from Mike, but from the Aftermath Foundation's lawyer. And... It's a very strange letter because it's not asking her to do anything. It was just a uh, simple, like, we're not going to answer these questions because uh, the premises of the questions uh, we disagree with, essentially, is what, what the argument was. But then at the end, there was this sort of little kind of gratuitous insult where they referenced the old saying, lie down with dogs, get up with fleas, uh, kind of implying that either Rabbit or Miriam is a flea-ridden dog. I, I, I don't know. I, I'm not sure what they were trying to say about this. But today I watched the follow-up video that Rabbit did with Miriam, and they read out the questions. Now, after having heard the questions, I understand why Rinder didn't want to answer them. They are very accusatory. They do take as their premise the idea that Mike knew specifically about specific crimes and, you know, took steps that most of us would consider bad things to do. What I don't understand is why, A, why the snarky insult at the end, and B, why even do this in the first place? Like, I can understand why he kicked these questions to a lawyer, because certainly if, if, if he were to answer these questions and, and take the premises at face value, he'd probably be opening himself up to some liability. But why the Aftermath Foundation's lawyer? Why not Mike's personal attorney? Or are they the same person? But if they're the same person, why did he reference the Aftermath Foundation in the letter? But more importantly, why send the letter at all? Or, or if they had to send something, they could have just sent a uh, you know, uh, an email that said, yeah, we're not going to answer these, we'll, we'll pass, thanks. They didn't have to address the reasons why, they didn't have to include the stupid insult. And after the thing that happened recently where uh, the Aftermath Foundation kicked Aaron Smith-Levin off the board because of some ridiculous reason, referencing a, an ethics policy that Aaron didn't even know they had, it, it just kind of gives the impression that there's something going on with the Aftermath Foundation and possibly something going on with Rinder. I understand that Rinder, having been in the position he was in, probably has a pretty difficult line to walk legally if he wants to, you know, stay out of jail or stay out of trouble at least. But it just seems like it's being handled in a very... OSA-esque manner. So, what's going on? 
I, I think that's, you know, sort of the question. I'm going to leave links to, um, to Rabbit's videos, and you guys can check that stuff out if you're interested. Um, it, it, man, it just seems like, uh, it just seems like there's a lot of weird stuff going on in the Scientology and Scientology opponents kind of world. I, I'm I'm here for it because it's interesting, but it, it's it's troubling to see people who are supposed to be on the same side going at each other, and it's especially disturbing to see things being done in a way that feels like Scientology. So anyway, there it is. That's that's what's going on. So yeah, check out Rabbit's videos, definitely. If you are interested in this topic, Rabbit has some of the best videos you're going to find anywhere. So uh, yeah, I hope you're all doing great. I'm trying to get back into the swing of regular video uh, making, but uh, <sighs> there's a lot going on. Anyway, uh, see y'all in the next one. Have a good day. Graham out. Bye.